Hello everybody and welcome to How to Make Your Wife Happy and Healthy, Starving College Student Edition. The mantra of these episodes are to make foods that are cheap, fast, and tasty. Because there are times in our lives, like when you're in college, that you don't want to spend too much time in the kitchen because you want to play video games. And you're trying to save up your money so that you can buy more video games. Yet, you still want something tasty in your own home. If that sounds like you or someone you know, then watch as I take out a wonderful staple from my college days and show you how to make it. What is it, you wonder? Well, come on, everybody. Let's slap together a cheap, fast, and tasty meal. Especially simply easy to make foods. Today's shout out goes to Parnell, Parnell the, the chef. Chef, 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 chef. Make sure you check out his channel, links are down below. He had a wonderful Jimmy Tree recipe that I loved on my grilled pork, as well as a very nice ricotta cream cheesecake recipe that looks oh so tasty. And if you want a shout out in my next video, stay tuned to the end to find out how. This next dish I put out from my college days comes from when I was in college and I heard somebody talking about making a very quick dish for his friends who weren't very familiar with Mexican culture and had a lot of trouble with sauce dripping all over their hands. I took this idea and now I've made chili burrito. Here are the ingredients. Half a can of chili. You can save the other half for another day. Or if you want to have two burritos, a whole can of chili. The cheese you use to make Lazy Man nachos. Hey, you don't want the cheese to go bad that you bought, otherwise it's wasteful and you're costing yourself some money. So we're going to repurpose that cheese and use it for a new dish. Flour tortillas. You'll notice that these foods are in Ziploc bags, because I've used them already in other dishes. So since I have done so, Ziploc it, keep it fresher longer. A little bit of sour cream. You can also add whatever you like to have on burritos as well. These are my choices in my chili. I love sour cream and cheese. You might like something else in your chili. Whatever you like in chili, that's what you can put in your chili burrito. And we're going to take our favorite brand of chili, whatever your favorite brand of chili is. And we're going to use a can opener because this one needs one. So if you don't have a can opener, invest in one. Very nice to be able to open up cans of food. How are you going to get cheap foods? Lots of cheap foods are in cans. Lots of recipes you finish to go into cooking also use cans. So we're just going to open up our can of chili. And we're only going to use one serving of it, which is about half of this can. We're gonna save the other half for later, believe it or not. We're just gonna wrap some wrap some saran wrap on the top and put it back in the refrigerator. That'll stay good for a while. So I'm gonna take out about half of the chili, put it in a bowl. Microwave safe bowl because we don't have a lot of time. Who wants to spend five minutes over the stove top when we can spend a minute 20 in the microwave? So I think I want half of the chili. Put it right in the bowl. We're gonna set our microwave for 120. Why 120? Because our microwave runs hot. 
and the instructions said two to three minutes for full can, so I figure 120 for half a can will be right for our microwave. Okay, put the chili in the microwave. Set it to 120. Well, that's you know. We're gonna slice up some cheese. Slice up some cheese. Remember, I'm doing things cheaply here. So I'm just gonna take regular table knife. You can slice your cheese with regular table knife. And I am also using regular cheese, a block of cheese, because that's cheaper than slices. But if you wanna spring a little more money for slices, you're welcome to do so. But you can slice up as much cheese or as little cheese. You can do thin or thick, even with a table knife. So that's gonna be enough for me. You might want more cheese than that. It's up to your own tastes. We'll see what you like. As the chili's cooking, you're probably wondering, I'm gonna heat up that tortilla. Well, here's my trick. 10 seconds left. Stop it. One tortilla, 10 seconds is plenty to heat it up. Gonna put it right on top of that chili bowl. Oop. And the last 10 seconds, heat up your tortilla. Or getting the tortilla cold. Don't have to heat it up. Boom. You're done. Okay, so we got our plate. Got our tortilla. Maybe that chili is enough for two tortillas. It's up to you. I'm gonna lay the cheese on first. So more likely melt when I put the chili on top. Using this spoon, I use to dish out the chili. Ooh, I feel the bowl's pretty hot. And lay that chili right on top of the cheese. Ooh, a little bit of steam. That is good, look at that steam. Wonderful, got my chili, top of the cheese. I'm gonna take that spoon, I'm gonna rinse it off. Little water, now it's perfectly clean. No need to waste too many utensils, because why do you want to? I'm gonna stir up my sour cream. If you don't like sour cream, you can skip this step. But I like a good amount of, I like some sour cream in my chili. If you wanna do salsa, I'd recommend it on the outside. But then you have to use the fork. Okay, now that you got your chili and cheese ready, wrap it up like a burrito. Now it's gonna make you a little messy. You can do it on your own. Let's see, this side's the better side. I do a half burrito, I'll be honest. One side, two sides, I didn't do a very good job here. Too much chili for the size of the tortilla. But usually you can just wrap it up like this and it's ready to eat. A little messy, but now it's ready to eat. So we've done the fast, I've showed you the cheap, now let's take care of that tasty. Don't forget to keep that chili for later. For well, the next time you want your easy, simple chili burrito lunch, or breakfast, or dinner. Saran wrap, another indispensable item you need in your home. Cover the can, back in the refrigerator it goes. I have a little too much chili for my burrito. It's perfect. So I'm gonna eat a little first. I'm gonna see the cheese has already started to melt. Let's wrap it up like it's meant to be. I don't know how to wrap burritos, coach. Oh, like, they'll show you. Just watch me. So I do open ended. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's the tasty. A little messy, but also tasty. Since you made it this far, go ahead and slap that like button just like we slapped together a chili cheese burrito today. 
Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of all my new videos that come out on Mondays. And just to mess with those who don't watch the outro, go ahead and slip the word Chipotle into the comments below to get a chance for a shout in my next video. Thanks for watching. Have a happy and healthy day.